everyone. Good afternoon, at least afternoon in California. I'm Jill Zandi. I'm the Associate Director and Competition Coordinator for the Mate Center. And I'm here with Competition Technical Manager, Matt Gardner. Hi, everyone. So welcome to our Facebook Live, What to Expect in Long Beach at the Mate International ROV Competition. So we're, we're here, we're gonna to talk to you about that. Um, we're in the Mate Workshop, you may remember it from previous Facebook Lives. Behind the camera, our CMate student, Newman. Newman, say hello mm -hmm. to everybody. Hi. Thank you, we, we appreciate pulling Newman into service here for our filming. Anyway, so again, today we're gonna to focus on what to expect at the Mate International ROV Competition. This is going to be particularly interesting and informative for those teams that have advanced and will be competing in Long Beach at the international competition. But I think others will find it interesting as well, just to get a sense of how we do things at the international competition, how we run things, how the schedule goes. So, so keep watching. And what's most exciting about this, as with our other Facebook Live events, is that you will be able to ask us questions as we're filming, as we're going, and Matt and I will answer them live, right? So, so tune in, have them come in. Are we rolling? I'm looking. Yeah. Maybe do a refresher. You might have to check on. Um, okay, never mind. We're making sure we're rolling. Yes. Go. All right. Cool. Sorry, it's been a while since we've done this. So, um, yes, ask us questions. We're here to answer. Different kind of tag team. I'm going to talk a little bit about the logistics and the schedule. I'm going to turn it over to Matt to talk specifically about missions and safety reviews. So um, by the time we're done with it, you should have, hopefully, you should have all the information that you need. That's our aim here. So I have my notes today because there's a lot to go through. So first of all, I'm going to give a shout out and say congratulations to all of the Ranger class regional winners. Great performances, great job, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you in Long Beach. We're excited to have you. I also want to give a shout out to all of the Explorer class teams that have so far passed their video demonstration requirement. Good job meeting that. It was tough this year, different requirements than in the past, but you did a great job. I want to also say welcome to you to Long Beach. Now we do have one more regional event to take place and that's going to take place this Saturday, May 20th on the big island of Hawaii. We wish we all could be there for that yeah. one. Um, but I wanted to give a shout out to those teams. Good luck. And I wanted to say thank you to Catherine from Earl's Garage and Justin from Kia Kalehi High School, Al, Mark, um, and Charles from Al from the Keck Observatory, Mark and Charles from the Institute for Astronomy at the University of Hawaii. Thank you to all those people who have pulled together this event. I mean, Catherine, thank you for taking the helm and making sure it happens. And good luck this weekend. We'll look forward to hearing who wins that event. All right, so here we go. Let's start with the basics, right? This year's competition is being held at Long Beach City College in Long Beach, California, USA. Shout out to Scott Frazier, Chair of the Electrical Technology Department at Long Beach City College, or LBCC as we like to call it. Shout out to him for all that he's doing to welcome us and prepare for us at the international event. Now, Long Beach City College, Google it up, LBCC, LBCC. it's the Carson Street campus. Pull it up on Google Maps, just like Matt's done. You will be able to search and you will be able to find the pool that we will be using. There it is, squiggly lines. And you'll be able to see the T building, which we'll be using, which is right in the center there. So we encourage you to do some exploring of LBCC campus on Google Maps. We're also, we will prepare maps with the competition locations noted on them, but in the meantime, uh, take a look on Google Maps. You may also want to visit Cal State University Long Beach, CSU Long Beach. That's where we're gonna host the awards banquet. We're gonna use CSU Long Beach's very famous blue pyramid. Google map that one, you will notice, zoom in, it is indeed a blue pyramid, it is hard to miss. And some info on the Blue Pyramid from Wikipedia. Each side of the perimeter of the pyramid measures 345 feet, making it mathematically a true pyramid. It is only one of three true pyramid style buildings in the United States, the other being one in Vegas and one in Memphis. So we'll be at one of three true pyramids here in the US during the awards banquet. Okay, the dates. 
June 23rd through the 25th. June 23rd through the 25th. That is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, if you participated before, it is different than in the past. In the past, we've run the competition Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We had hoped to do that again this year, but we ran with, into a little scheduling conflict, so we switched it to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So just make sure you note that and, and arrive on time. Okay, so speaking of, when should you arrive? If the competition is Friday, starts Friday, should you arrive on Friday? No, you should arrive in advance. I encourage you, if you can explore the competition website, if you go to the competition, go to events, go to international competition, there you will find a tentative schedule of events. And if you haven't done that, I highly encourage you to do that. It looks somewhat like this, but without my marked up notes, which we'll go through in a second, you will see that team check-in begins on Wednesday afternoon and runs all day on Thursday. So you are gonna wanna make sure to arrive either by Wednesday afternoon or by sometime on Thursday to go through team check-in. Now, team check-in, like last year, if you participated last year, we are going to have scheduled team check-in. And what that means is sometime next week, after we get through the Big Island Regional, you are going to get a link to sign up for a time slot for team check-in. That will come from Miss Timmy Sinclair, our wonderful registrar. You'll get a link and you can pick your time slot. Now, if for some reason you can't make it by, say, 5 o'clock on Thursday to check in, we'll accommodate you checking in on Friday morning. But we highly encourage you to make sure to make it on Thursday because you don't want to miss any, any minute of Friday morning's opening ceremonies. You're going to want to catch it all. Very exciting stuff. We've got some cool things planned. We'll talk. Well, actually, we won't talk about it. You'll have to see it. So, uh, let's see. Oh, and the good news is... Unlike last year, we do not have those very strict security requirements. So check-in will not require all of the security processes and procedures like last year. And I know there's many of you breathing a sigh of relief. Trust me, we are too. And Timmy tells me this year, very exciting other great news, only one person, one responsible adult or adult CEO team captain needs to come to check the team in. That's right, just one person <coughs> needs to show up and check the team in. That is probably the most exciting news of all. So again, Timmy, you'll hear from her. She'll send a link so you can sign up for your time slots. And speaking of Timmy, for those of you who uh, don't know her, don't know what she looks like, there's Timmy. She's very pleasant, very kind, very nice, like the rest of the mate staff. We're all very nice, and we're, we're here to help. We really and truly are here to help you. If you haven't met Timmy, you will meet her um, at the international competition. Okay, so what else? There's the photo of Timmy. Okay, go through the schedule. We're going to talk a little bit about the schedule. You will, likely you want to know when is your team competing? What's your, excuse me, what's your team number? When are you competing? We'll get that information out to you by June 1st. We've got to get through this weekend of regional, the last regional, and then we also need to see your technical documentation come in on the 26th. So by June 1st, we'll have your team number assignment and a more detailed schedule of when your specific team will be competing. So just, again, looking at that, looking at the schedule, say we've gotten through team check-in, it's Friday morning, we're gonna have opening ceremonies in the basketball gym, at Long Beach City College. We'll start those about 10 o'clock. Be a very exciting time for everybody. Once the opening ceremonies are over, we break and you get, to, you get to go, grab your ROV and set up your team workstations. Now we do have a change in the location of the workstations. They're not gonna be in the basketball gym, they're gonna be in the T building. So right now the schedule says the basketball gym, but they're actually gonna be in the T building. Your team is going to be assigned into a classroom with other teams and you'll set up your workstations there. Matt's gonna talk a little bit more about team workstations and that set up a little bit later, but I just wanted to point that out. What's also going to take place in the T building is safety checks. We're actually gonna have a classroom for the safety checks. So instead of safety checkers come to you, if you participated in the past, they've come to you, you're gonna to go to them. So more on that from Matt in, in just a bit. No questions yet, Matt? Nope. Oh gosh, good, we're answering so. all these great questions. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, you'll set up your workstations, 
You'll set up your poster displays. We'll make sure you know which room those go into. You'll have practice time um, in the LBCC pool. We're going to have a dunk tank <laughs> available that you can do buoyancy checks. Um, that will be really helpful during the competition when you can't get into the pool. That Friday evening, it's, it's going to be very exciting, but in the afternoon, lots of craziness, lots of setup. We'll do some product presentations. Some of you will have your product presentations in the afternoon on Friday. And that evening, we're going to have a kickoff mixer at the college. This is exciting to still be at the college for the kickoff mixer because what that means is you will continue to be able to practice and work on your vehicle. Yes, and I hear that Scott said we can be there up until 8 o'clock at night. So cool, you'll still have access, we'll have a repair station area, we'll help you out with that kind of stuff and you'll still be able to practice up until eight o'clock that night. So we'll wrap up Friday, Saturday morning, big day, big, big day. The underwater missions begin, the product presentations will continue, your poster displays or marketing displays will be judged that day. It's gonna be a long fun day on Saturday. Saturday evening, there's no events planned. You, you get to go out on your own and explore Long Beach. And I encourage you to check out the waterfront. We're gonna have a list of things to see and do, some fun things to see and do in Long Beach. That'll be coming, but you've got Saturday evening to, to do what you'd like to do. Sunday, Sunday, the underwater missions continue. They'll wrap up about noon. After the missions are over, you'll have an opportunity to pack up your workstations, get all of your stuff ready for shipping out. What we do on our end, we do a little bit of cleanup in the afternoon. We get together with the judges and we have our debrief and our meeting. We go through all of the different subjective awards and we pick winners and we also do the final scoring tabulation. So for you, once you're all packed up, you actually will have Sunday afternoon to, to chill out, take a breather, take a nap if you feel so inclined to take a nap and get ready for Sunday evening's award ceremony. Sunday evening's award ceremony is going to start at 6.30. Again, it's going to be at Cal State University, Long Beach, that wonderful blue pyramid, the only one of three in the U.S. We'll have the award ceremony. We'll have a meal. Um, the award ceremony will begin about 8 o'clock, and we hope to be done in what we were done last year, an hour, an hour and a half. We had a record, I think, award ceremony last year. We were done pretty quickly. Okay, so let's see. We went through that real quick. Some other notes that so, I want sorry, to point out. Oh, I sure. Want to say, uh, Savas says hi, Jill. Oh, hi, hi, Savas. Thank you for tuning in. Perfect. I'm glad someone's out there. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure the comments. Were, <laughs> we, we have 24 uh, viewers right now. Nice, us. nice. Well, just so but, you know, well, this is going to be saved and up on our our competition Facebook page. So. You know, if you're missing it now, which you wouldn't know you're missing it now, it'll be up there for you to look at later. Anything else? Uh, you're getting to it next. So, okay, okay, cool. Yep. Transportation, all right. Oh, sorry. It may, may so the question was, are parents invited to the awards? Sir? Oh, I'll talk about that in yeah, a second. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get to that, yeah, in just a few seconds. But great question, and I knew it was coming. I anticipated it, and we'll get to it in a second. I want to cover transportation first. Transportation, this year you are on your own for transportation. Not only are you on your own for getting yourself to Long Beach, but while you're there, you are on your own for getting yourself to and from the airport to your hotel, um, uh, to Long Beach City College from your hotel and back, and even to CSU Long Beach for the awards banquet. So you're gonna have to, to plan on that. There's plenty of public transportation available and Scott Frazier, thank you, Scott. He is working on some information, public transportation information, to help you get from one place to another. Some of the hotels are actually within walking distance to Long Beach City College. To CSU Long Beach and that Blue Pyramid, you will have to take public transportation if you're staying at a hotel on, on our list, one of the hotels on our list. But again, we'll have that available. You're responsible for that. Parking, somebody asked about parking at, at one point in time. Parking on campus at Long Beach City College and at CSU Long Beach is <clears throat> plentiful. However, you will have to pay for parking. At Long Beach City College, it's only $2 for the whole day. Two bucks, you can do it, it's good. CSU Long Beach, I don't remember how much that was. It may be a little bit more. However, you'll only be there for a few hours that evening. But there'll be parking kiosks around where you can pay, display your ticket. You don't want to get a parking ticket. Um, okay, the banquet. Yes, so here we go, the awards banquet. 
So the awards banquet, we are very fortunate to have the Marine Technology Society's ROB committee as a sponsor and supporter of this competition and specifically the awards banquet. So each year the ROB committee contributes funds to support the event, to support the students and their funds pay for tickets for the students and for up to two mentors or coaches, teachers, whoever you call yourself. So again, the students and up to two mentors, teachers, coaches, those will be covered. So we'll cover your ticket to the award ceremony. Parents, siblings, others traveling with the team, fans of the team, you'll have the opportunity to purchase tickets to the awards banquet. We'll get that information out to everyone as soon as we get a better handle on the total number of students and teachers, coaches, mentors that will be coming. Then we'll know how many tickets we can sell. But fortunately, that Blue Pyramid's pretty big, so we should be able to accommodate everybody, but those tickets won't go on sale, probably not till about June, excuse me, June 1st, but we'll let you all know. So, so Jill, yeah. I've got a couple questions. Oh, sweet, One of love which it. is about, oh my gosh, um, but is the um, awards banquet going to be live streamed? <gasps> Good question. We were just having an email discussion about that. If you remember last year, Juliana Pasavento, shout out to you, Juliana, she live streamed it. Thank goodness. She is planning to come again this year. So right now, I'm not going to promise it, but more than likely, the awards banquet will be live streamed just like it was last year. Great question. Another okay. question was, are teams going to be able to use the LBCC pool before June 23rd, and that's something I think we're going to have to chat with Scott Frazier about. Right, and my inkling is no, because if you remember early in the broadcast in our Facebook Live, I mentioned that there was a conflict with the pool. We couldn't get access to the pool until Friday. So I believe I can safely answer that, that no, you will not be able to get into the LBCC pool prior to June 23rd because of that. But we'll confirm it. Matt, make sure let's yep. confirm it. Scott Frazier, if you're listening, you can <laughs> make a comment on our competition Facebook page, but I don't believe so. But great question. And then the last yes. question we have is when will the teams going be announced? <gasps> oh, so the regional winners, if you, right now it's not up because I've got to update it, but if you are on our competition page and you go to events and you select regional events, there is a link that will take you to a list of the regional competition winners. So you should be able to access this. It's not up there right now. The link is dead because I'm updating it based on last weekend's winners. But it will be up there and you'll be able to see. The Explorer class, Matt is still going through videos. We're still working that out. Our safety team is still reviewing the videos. But I would say by May 27th, We'll have okay. all that up. We'll have all that up for you to view. But you can check out the Ranger class winners right now, um, or at least later on today when I update the the and the link becomes active. It's and, a great and question. Definitely, the, the complete team list will be up June, June 1st. first. Yeah, perfect. Any anything else? Uh, that's it. Okay, cool. All right, so. All right, we talked about the banquet, we talked about the opportunity to buy tickets for parents and siblings and others traveling with the team. The other meals, the lunches, and even the kickoff mixer, those are actually gonna be at your expense this year. So actually, lunches were at your expense last year, but the kickoff mixer is as well. However, what we have planned, we have food trucks coming to Long Beach City College. So each day at lunchtime, Friday, Saturday, and even some on Sunday, and Friday evening for our little social mixer, there will be food trucks on campus. There's gonna be a variety of choices. The cost is gonna be relatively low, right? Not like going out to some fancy dinner, right? But, and there'll be, again, variety of choices. There'll be easy access. So you can purchase your lunches from those food trucks and also when you're hungry, as you're working and practicing during Friday night's mixer, you can, you can go to the food trucks. Okay, anything else? Nope, we're good okay. now. So, pre-event. That's when we're there, just a real quick walkthrough of, of the schedule. I want to talk about some things pre-event. So, once, once the Big Island Regional takes place and we have that last winter, by Thursday of next week, you are going to get an invitation via Active. It's actually gonna be written up by Timmy, but it's gonna be sent via the Active Registration System. It's gonna be an invitation to complete a logistics survey, okay? Look for that. 
that invitation is going to be sent to whomever registered your team, whoever.